What's up my stats arts? Let's talk about a simple random sample. Now the definition of a simple random sample is that every group of n people or objects has an equal chance of being selected. So a simple random sample says if you're looking for a sample of 50 people, then any sample of 50 people is possible. So imagine your population is students of Twinsburg High School. Well, every single sample of size 50 must be equally likely to occur. So imagine a group of 50 boys, that sample is possible. A group of 50 girls, that sample is possible. A group of 50 honor students, that sample is possible. A group of 50 football players, that sample is possible. So any possible sample of 50 is, well, possible. But here's the kicker. A sample of all boys would be really, really unlikely. You know what's really what's most likely? Is getting a nice mix-up sample. Boys, girls, honor students, lower level students, athletes, non-athletes, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, getting a really nice mix is what statistically is probably gonna happen. And that is why a simple random sample is really, really cool. But let's talk about the steps to actually get a simple random sample. Now one method is to put everybody's name on a piece of paper, put those pieces of paper in a hat, mix them up, and then draw out 50 pieces of paper. But there's a lot of issues with that. Not that you can't do that, but you know what really works best on an exam when you're asked how would you conduct a simple random sample? Following these three steps. Step one, assign every person or object a unique number. Make sure everybody, every person gets a number. Now here's the deal. If you have over 10 people, then whoever gets number one has to have zero one. If you have over 100 people, whoever gets number five has to have zero, zero, five. So if you have triple digits, everybody needs a triple digit. If you have single digits, everybody needs a single digit. If you got double digits, everybody has to have a double digit. You get the idea. Now, then we're gonna use a random number generator. Random number generator is just a computer program, whether it be something on the internet, something on your calculator, something that's just gonna generate random numbers to select the numbers. We have to make sure that we ignore repeats because you don't want the same person picked twice, that wouldn't make sense. And we have to make sure we ignore no numbers that nobody has. If you have 150 people and number 161 gets selected, well, nobody has 161, so you gotta make sure you ignore it. That's really important to make sure that you say. And then finally, the third step is the people or objects with those corresponding numbers are actually selected. If you follow these three, these three steps when you are conducting a simple random sample, you cannot go wrong. Even though pulling out of a hat works, this works a lot better as well. All right, that's all you need to know about simple random samples. If you're looking for more practice, check out the ultimate review packet for AP Statistics. It's got everything you need to make sure you're ready for class.